Welcome back to Totally Crazy Easy Gardening. I'm David the Good. Today we're going to do something that's very, very, very useful in the garden. Actually, we're not. We're going to do something completely weird. We're going to germinate sea beans. Why would I want to germinate sea beans? Because they're there. Most of the footage in today's video was recorded a few weeks ago. So let's go back in time and see my younger self and perhaps warn him how he's going to turn out just three short weeks from now. From then, from back then before it was now. To catapult you through time. This is a pod with a couple of sea beans in it. They're called donkey eyes or hamburger beans and all kinds of other funny names. And you'll often find them washing up on the shore around the world. Today we're gonna to see if we can germinate them, just for fun. We've been finding these guys in the river, and as you can see, I have different colors that we found here and there. So there's some genetic variation inside of these sea beans. So I just figured I'd pick these four different pretty looking ones and get them to germinate. But you can't get them to germinate all that easily. I've done this before, and just planting them doesn't always work. So we're gonna do something a little different. just done with these is called chitting them or scarification. You have to get through the hard seed coat in order to get them to swell up and germinate. So I'm soaking them overnight and we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see how they've done. It's the next morning and I'm out here with these sea beans that were soaked overnight and they are not as swollen as I would like yet. And I'm going to show you what they look like. Let's give them another day and then we'll see what happens. Another day has gone by and it was time to check my little sea beans again. And here they are and I think they are swollen enough that it's time to plant them. I don't want them to sit in the water and rot. I just want them to soak up some water into their embryos and get ready to take off. So let's plant them. Now we've planted our sea beans, and all that's left is to wait and see what happens. It's in your hands now. Grow. Come on. Do it. Check this out. I planted these on July 9th, and today is July 22nd as I'm recording. And they came up, they started coming up about two days ago. We've got three of them here that have come up and one that has not germinated yet. Give it a little longer and see what happens. Isn't that cool? I'm impressed. Once these guys get a little bit bigger, 
I'm gonna find a tree I can plant them up against and just let them climb for the sky, and then we'll see how they develop. I think it's fascinating to plant these sort of seeds of plants that we don't normally see in our regular old gardens. This ought to be a fun experiment. And the seeds themselves can be used for a lot of crafts, and they can be used to play Moncala. That's pretty cool. Thanks for joining me today on Totally Crazy Easy Gardening. Be sure to like, subscribe, visit me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com, and until next time, keep growing. Everything's gonna be fine, fine, fine Cause I got a sea bean in my pocket And I'm gonna grow a great big sea bean fine